So basically, what we're going to do is this. Um, when you sit at the piano and you sit at the keyboard, it sits in the same place every time. So this is very helpful for your brain. I'm a professional. I can move around. But in the beginning, just do this. Do yourself a favor. Mm -hmm. I like to put my belly button at about D, actually. D or E, mm -hmm. something in this area. This is actually the, the center. This is, this is about the middle of the piano. It's like right about here, a little to the right of middle C. It's like D. Why not? Um, but just make a conscious effort to do that. Make sure that your seat is the proper height. Mm -hmm. which means your your legs are just very slightly down. So not knees up, you know. Right, right. Feet are out in front of you. You're going to see me do this a lot. That's because I'm an organ player and it's habit, but don't do that. You because of to, the bass that you do. Bass pedals, yeah. yeah. So uh, you have to do a whole other set of Yeah, yeah. That's not even getting to it. That took fucking years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, years of pain, lots of pain. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so with your belly button about here, uh, we're going to start, we're going to do this exercise. It's uh, by this guy named Alfred Cortot. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, you can see we have C, D, E, F, and G. It's just what we call a five finger position. Mm -hmm. And your hands are going to be out in front of you like this. Mm -hmm. So before we get there, uh, strong core. Straight, sitting up straight, so not hunched over, right. but also not sticking your stomach out. You know, right. you got to find that equal place here. Relaxed shoulders, relaxed everything else, um, and your wrists need to be flat like this. And when you look at the hand, it looks like this. It's like I'm holding a melon or something, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Your thumb moves like this. These these fingers move like this, right? So these are your hinges. If you just kind of do this for a minute, and then you go up and down like that. Not this, not your wrist is not doing it. It's just mm -hmm. your thumb. So okay. always curves, curves. It's arches, good Roman arches, man. That's strong. Mm -hmm. That's this hard is hard to push. If you're hinging from here, it's really hard to push down. If you have an arch, all these muscles work together to push. Mm -hmm. So we need that. You do. You are definitely one of these guys. Mm -hmm. No, no, man. <laughs> so okay. it's gonna take a couple months, but don't worry. You're gonna right, be. Right. You're gonna be strong. <laughs> you just have to think about it every day. So now, and flat wrist, and again the same concept with your uh, arms. Okay. So if you come here, ninety degree angle, and you push forward just a little bit, and down just a little bit. So we're working out the proper alignment and height okay. with the keyboard. So your keyboard setup at home, it's very important that your bench is the right height. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because that's where everything hinges on, right? Again, later you can do this kind of stuff. You can have your... Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. That's for professionals. We have to get there first. All right. So you have these flat wrists. Turn this way. And to begin with, this is what you do. Push all the keys down. Okay. Now, what we're learning more than anything with this exercise is efficiency of motion, right? So piano playing is like marathon running. It's not like power lifting. Mm -hmm. You have to be very strong, but it's uh, over a long period of time. So if you push too hard down, you're going to get tired quickly. Right. You're going to injure yourself also. Trust me. I've had all the injuries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. what we're trying to do is put just enough pressure down so that all the keys are being held down, but I'm not pushing extra hard. Right? Okay. So, a good exercise is to push too hard and then let go and see when the keys start to come up. So, you have to find that. Mm -hmm. There's a specific weight amount for every keyboard for how much right. they actually put weights on them and if, if it's a well-regulated piano you put the weight on and you make sure it goes down exactly the same weight for every key right and it's not a lot it's a couple grams maybe uh so my key my keys my uh fingers are nice and curved playing not totally on the tip but just a little bit back 
Okay. All this stuff is we're gonna refine, but just yeah, yeah. main thing is that they're curved right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, just enough tension so that if you put any weight on your wrist, it will go down. Right. So all of your injury, most of your injuries are gonna come from your wrist. It's wrist tension because people tend, myself included, I used to do like this. You mm -hmm. just kind of, mm -hmm. but it has to be fluid. So we've got everything down. Now what you're gonna do, while holding all the other fingers down, you're gonna use one finger. Start with your thumb. And you'll probably could even do it a little bit slower now. But what I'm doing, I'm letting my thumb come all the way up, but I'm not losing contact with the key. So I was coming up, you can you can feel it's better to do this on a piano if you have a piano because you can actually feel the mechanical action it's right. not just a spring that's pushing up right. but you can feel like there's this weight that sort of resets itself in the key and you can feel it mm -hmm. so it comes all the way up all the way down but not excessive force just very slow this is a, again this is going to take months to really be able to do properly that's the easy one now you go to the next mm -hmm. finger. You're holding everything down except for your pointer finger. And we're doing exactly the same thing. Yeah. And then the next finger. And what you're gonna what you're looking out for and what you're gonna notice is like your foot is gonna start clenching when you're doing that. And the pro this is uh, this is a body awareness exercise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, let the foot chill out. You gotta make your foot chill out. You gotta keep your posture good. You gotta remember to breathe. More locally, when you're doing this, you're gonna start, your hand's gonna start moving. It's gonna start drifting. It's right. gonna start, this finger's gonna come up. You know, when that happens, take a yep. second, reset, go slower. This is one of those exercises, that's gonna be fast in the beginning for you, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna have mm -hmm. you do this in a second, but mm -hmm. you know, and you're gonna start, like, yeah. but mm -hmm. it, that's your brain fighting you and your body but right. you need to retrain everything we're, we're training right. very specifically exactly how you move on the piano if you do this every day the, uh, within a few weeks you'll notice a, you'll be a completely different player number one then we're going to add a couple things to this um, and in six months you'll, you'll be like playing piano and he'll be like, what the fuck? This is great. Sweet. So you do that with this hand. You know, I would say, you know, you play each one like six times. Yeah. Each okay. finger. Okay. And then take a break. You don't want to do it too much because right. in the beginning, you're going to be overexerting yourself. Right. And doing it wrong. And you're going to hurt yourself if you do it. Like, you don't want to do this for two hours. Right. Then you, you know, left hand. do the left hand. Yep. Then you have a coffee. Yep. And you're good. Espresso. Espresso.